Come on in, hit the like button, and think about subscribing if you're already new here. Welcome to the channel, but most importantly, welcome to the Viking family. So this is my personal opinion slash review for a 2024 independent horror film called Operation Blood Hunt. Now here's the plot. Military rejects travel to a remote South Pacific island to investigate the disappearance of Marines units stationed there in 1944. They soon find themselves in a fight for their lives when they come under attack by a pack of bloodthirsty werewolves. Now here are some of the casts. Now you could tell right away this was a low budget B-film, mid-range quality look, the plot holes, and the odd feel to the theming. Even the cheap looking props, you could tell they tried their best, but I'm pretty sure they didn't have modern shotgun, pump shotguns in the 1940s of, of specifically that kind. And you could also tell that, yes, they usually use um, airsoft guns and blank firing guns. You could tell, at least I could, of collecting airsoft guns, which types they were getting. That they were getting the very cheap, plasticky look. It had screw holes on one side for the stock, to put the stock into the main part. And you could just tell. Um, which I get, again, they, they tried their best for a small budget. But it's just kind of, the, the realisticness of that was a little bit off. And it, it's kind of what you get with with um, these kind of independent, very small budget films, B films specifically. Now, let's say I was under the shock, the shocking impression that May, uh, John Mayers, I think his name's John Mayers, Mayers something, was the main lead in this. But instead, we got this huge guy that I do not recognize. But to me, that made it feel refreshing to see a new face that actually did a pretty good job. Granted, this war, his wardrobe design was cheap as hell looking and didn't say priest to me because he was playing a priest uh, or a father of some sort of, of the Lord. Uh, the story was definitely entertaining enough to keep you interested. It did have plenty of flaws in the story plot lines that made it feel sloppy a lot of the time. I also will say there was at the, there was acting and characters that made me laugh, not a good way, as it was either ridiculous or just over the top. But honestly, it was a fun B film nonetheless. Now here's my rating. I'll come back with my final thoughts. Overall, not the best low-budget film I've seen in the past 10 years. Um, but uh, if you're into stuff like uh, B-Film specifically, um, I wouldn't say it's terrible. I just think from a professional look at it, it's even for B-Film, the writing was very sloppy. The realisticness of certain things um, was... And I don't know if you could really critique the... The authenticity of this, of films in general, in my personal opinion, um, it's not like it's based on a real thing or any, uh, like a real event or anything. Obviously, it's werewolves. Um, but, you know, it, it does come off kind of harsh that I would uh, critique that. It was more of me pointing it out, but um, as a whole, there's just so many, so many flaws with this, which again, it's a B film. It's like a mid tier B, B film. It's not like the really down below that are so obviously cheap looking that it comes off like a, something a high schooler would have made in the early two thousands type of thing. Cause believe me, there's B films like that. Um, but it definitely comes off like a HD version of uh, the Crypt Keeper, a Crypt Keeper movie. I guess you could put it away. Um, but uh, yeah, so anyways, leave your thoughts down below. I uh, went on long enough. Remember, I love you all. 
Please stay safe. Spread the love most importantly. Skull. Thank <laughs> you.